Hole and holes, welcome to a brand new video diving into this this devlin gremlin behind me. Like, ugh, ugh, just staring at her face. Oh, oh, God, I don't even want to look at it. It's like, it's like if Logan Paul did like some face swap technology and aged himself by like 50 years. You get this f***ing creature. Anyway, a lot of you don't know this, but she recently came back. She was in a lot of controversy. A lot of people called her out for being an insufferable bitch. And yes, I am using the term bitch to refer to a female just to make sure that you are aware of the level of sins I am committing. And now that she has come back, she came back with this whole big comedy special and she acts like the whole fucking Home Alone kid and how she's been literally bastardized by the internet. So uh, a YouTuber by the name of Jamari made a video, Ellen's Comeback is Horrible, where he details this whole process. Uh, again, I am consuming all lore, all lore, whether it's fictional or real. I will consume all the lore, and Ellen Degenerate is like one of the, the lore dives that I was waiting to get into. So this isn't the, the full frontal lore dive in Ellen Degenerate, but she's back! So it has been a very long time since we last talked about Ellen Degenerate, and that's mainly because oh God, she had gone into that. hiding ever since she was basically the only person to be legitimately cancelled. Well, her and that one Eagles fan, that is who don't remember, or weren't around back then to remember, for years Ellen was one of the most successful people in show business. You know what that goes to show? That everyone in show business is a f***ing snake and you have to stop freaking celebrating these people. God damn, I, I am literally so f***ing blackpilled on this b I am so blackpilled on, on seeing all this stuff. Every time I see someone uh, parrot some celebrity or, or say, oh, this celebrity supports X, candidate in the political election, I immediately write off their opinions as invalid and f***ing stupid, okay? Dancing around Target. Sorry, I, I know you subscribe to me for chaos and not just incredibly truthful takes, but here we are. Embarrassing unassuming stay-at-home mothers for her own sick amusement, taking selfies with creepers, and who could nice. forget cuddling with P. Diddy? Let's and go. despite all of this foolishness, Universe yeah, again, I, I just did the, the P. Diddy Diddler deep dive and it's f***ing degenerate. Personally, she did maintain a pretty good reputation, even received- Until she did- WHAT?! Even some sort of humanitarian award from Obama- Get the f*** out of here. See, this is worth nothing! These people are phonies! If Ellen Degenerate could get a humanitarian award, then it's worth zero! Oh my god! Uh, sooner or later, my audience will realize that my entire career has all been leading up to the point where I can just instill in their minds that they have to stop f***ing listening to these flesh puppets being paraded around by their corporate handlers on television, making believe that they are important. They are not important! And I know this because I am not important! So diddle me this, Batman! Why the frick do all of them end up getting exposed as being these massive fake creeps? Simply put, they were always fake creeps, but they had the corporate corporate massage keeping them in the public eye all fluffy and nice for people to fuck gawk at. Get out of here! Get your dick out your hands. Call the ambulance, but not for me. Back when he was still president. On top of that, her show was insanely popular for over a decade, and by the end of it, she was just making- Look at her! She looks like Smeagol with bad hair! well over 50 million dollars a year tons of sponsorships and other opportunities rolling in every single day and keep in mind guys this is back when you could find an oddly shaped cheeto and end up on that godforsaken couch Damn. and people ate this shit up for breakfast lunch and dinner and she was essentially being forced down our throats for a very long time but for ellen it wasn't always like this she had to grind for years to become a successful stand-up comedian back in the late 80s and early 90s. Yeah. Most most people uh, that are funny can actually make it in the in the field without needing to be fucking plopped places. And after being voted the funniest comedian in the country oh, the and fuck? making Who a few voted her the funniest comedian in the country. Few appearances on late night television, she would come out with her own self-titled sitcom that did very well. That was until she revealed her sexuality both on the show and in real life. Susan I'm gay. And the ratings plummeted because the world was not socially ready for that during the 90s. And then everybody got so sick of it, it got to the point where even Elton John, who I'd never met in my life, Elton John said, we know you're gay, shut up and be funny. I mean, that's like, that's kind of based, though, of Elton John. Like, I don't care if a comedian's gay. I want the comedian to be funny, all right? As someone that is that is socially accepting about, uh, like, everyone in general, uh, you gotta be fucking funny if you want to be a comedian. You, know, give me you want me to give you fucking brownie points because you're gay? Get out of here with that shit. It's funny, because I uh, all along, that was my biggest fear, is that it was going to get canceled. I never want... Oh, 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 Ellen DeGeneres! Making 50 
$50 million a year. What a victim, am I right, guys? Classic victim. Her and KSI talk to aing on the podcast. I wanted to be an activist. I just wanted to entertain people. I just wanted to make people feel good. Yeah. So then she was outcasted, yeah. but slowly made her way back. And of course, she gets the speaking role for Dory in Finding Nemo. No! She was Dory in Finding... I will never be able to... Aww. She... You just ruined Nemo for me. You ruined Dory! Which was a massive hit. Keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And this... No! I didn't know that. Oh my god, you just ruined Nemo leads to her getting her foot back into the entertainment door and eventually becoming a titan in daytime television. And so for years, her infamous catchphrase on her show that represented her entire brand was be kind to one another. Dude, to be honest, the writing was on the fucking wall. When people need a virtue signal, this is why virtue signaling in general is something that just pisses me off. If you really feel the need to, to puff your chest out, look at people in the eye and say, don't be racist. Well, that probably says something about you. Listen, as someone not racist, I don't sit there and fucking put my feet on the table and proclaim this shit, all right? I, 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 get out of here, bro. Be kind to one another. You shit your bitch ass up. As people even refer to Ellen as the queen of nice, which of course turns out to be horrifically wow. ironic in the end. Wow. In 2020, hundreds of stories went viral on social Let's media describing Ellen as a bully both at work and in her personal life. Talks of a toxic work environment were at the forefront of these complaints, including racist undertones, intimidation, and even sexual misconduct from high- Yikes. Yikes, it's actually fucking Mr. Beast all over again. High-level employees were all alleged against Ellen and this workplace that she had created. High-level employees- it's Completely coincidentally, she's a good friend of P. Diddler. These from producers to talent on the show have all corroborated these allegations of a toxic work environment. Were you surprised by the sheer number of responses that you got? I actually was surprised by that, and especially the variety of different kinds of story that <laughs> perpetuated all those rumors and kind of hearsay about like, oh, Ellen is not quite as nice as she seems. And she I saw Ellen buying baby oil. What was that about? Would appear. Moscat won two daytime Emmys with the show. She was let go in 2004. Wow. As a host, she's amazing as a host. But as a boss and someone who's behind the scenes running the show, mm -hmm. she's a different person. She's not. Wow! You mean when the screens and cameras go off, these people are not the fucking personas that they put them up as? <gasps> no! Listen, I've always been, uh, I've always been so real with you guys, but I'm not gonna make believe you know me in real life. Believe it or not, I'm not this fucking blue-ass anime avatar in real life. I know, I've literally ruined the immersion for all of you. Definitely, uh... Definitely leave a leave a comment if you're heartbroken right now. Uh, Jaden and I have literally betrayed you. Um, but um, the point that I'm trying to say is, these people are all fakes. They're all phonies. They're all frauds. Don't believe anyone. Any everything you see on the internet is a fraction of what they are, and it is exactly the part that they want to show you. Trust nothing. There's only two things on the internet that you could trust as fact and true. The fact that KSI's forehead is demonstrably large compared to his low IQ. And also the fact that I will continue milking the chaos as long as there is chaos to be milked. Everything else, take it with a grain of salt. Not the person people see in front of the camera. This environment, this toxic culture that she created in the office has been going on for 16 years. While I am grateful for the opportunity it afforded me, I did experience and feel the toxicity of the environment. This is just every fucking Mr. Beast employee coming out. <laughs> this is every single one of them. He writes on Instagram. Allegedly, Ellen was sending people home if she didn't like how you smelled. People were not allowed- Honestly, like- like, depending on how bad they smell, that is relatively understandable. Like, like, let's go. Like, some, some people just really, like, they do not understand hygiene. Like, if you send someone home because they smell like a, a fucking flea market, then, you know, I... Uh... To eat certain types of food while on set, there were stories of employees being turned... Look at that smile. It's like, she is forcing that smile. ...terminated suddenly and without reason. Many employees were oh, allegedly... that is a good face. ...trained to not even make eye contact or expect... How do you tri... Wait, what?! She entrained employees to not make eye contact? To be acknowledged by Ellen. A former Ellen staffer writes, I saw Ellen in the hallways every day and would say hello, and she never once said hello back. She wouldn't smile. She wouldn't even acknowledge me at all for two seasons. Holy shit. And it sounds like she's actually insane. <laughs> oh my God, like that's, 
that's not just being like mean or stinky like holy shit that's like evil like you have to train yourself to be that much of a narcissist he would go out of her way to publicly embarrass employees on a consistent basis basically it seems like ellen is one of those people who thinks she is better than others and she wants to let them know it by acting like they are the Damn. dirt underneath her shoe Damn. if she deems you or your job is unimportant understand guys that these stories were not only coming from the workplace but also from people who were dealing with ellen in her everyday life oh my god dude she got fucking c annihilated like this bodyguard who frequently works with celebrities who said that Ellen was the first and only who he had ever worked for to not even acknowledge his presence. That's so wild. That's so insane. I know people that have security guards. They all are, they're like, they're friends, you know? Like, what? And this waitress who claims that Ellen went out of her way to email her boss to try and get her fired over chipped nail polish. She tried to get her employee fired because she had chipped nail polish. Be kind to one another. She emailed the owner of the restaurant and complained about your chipped nail polish. Wait, it wasn't even her own employee? She she personally emailed the owner of a restaurant because one of the employees at that restaurant had chipped nail polish. Like, dude, there are Karens and then there is Ellen. What? And I was like, what? Not only that, but also during her show, her audience members who got to participate in her games and whatnot also had stories of her being an elitist douchebag. Nice. You just expect a lot when you go to meet like your idol and then- You have a problem if these people are your idols. Stop it. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. It's like, she was my idol and she betrayed me. No bitch, your IQ is room temperature. When you get disappointed, it's like such a letdown. And they tell you, you know, you can't be smarter, funnier than Ellen. She's the comedian and the star, not you. Would only speak to the audience when the cameras were rolling. As soon as they turned the cameras off, she would not even acknowledge the audience. She would just sit on the couch, basically. And even when she went over to Australia to do some shows over there, this is what a radio show host who was invited on had to say about his experience All and right. how Ellen treated her staff. Juice has called us aside and said, now, uh, Neil, no one's to talk to Ellen. So you don't talk to her, you oh don't approach God. her, you don't look at her. The, the producers called him in advance to tell his staff to not look at Ellen. <laughs> what the fuck? People who worked with her war- See, in Australia, there are lots of dangerous creatures. They're, they're fucking cobras strolling around. They're taipan, sea snakes, crocodiles, Komodo dragons live across the sea, deadly spiders, and Ellen DeGeneres, the most dangerous thing in Australia right now, crikey. Walked on eggshells the whole time, and the whole thing was totally bizarre. Like, we're there to do an interview with her to promote what she's doing but you can't look at her like someone get real. And oh obviously God. with her having this long-standing reputation as this person who promoted nothing but positivity, people were shocked and outraged at this walking contradiction that Ellen had become. And at the time when she tried and failed to make a comeback, she also gave this half-assed apology letter. Ooh, she made an apology? I love apologies, especially when celebrities apologize. Those are always good. Or she tried to dump the blame on everyone else. Remember when P Diddy apologized for brutally beating his ex-girlfriend? And it was caught on camera and leaked. Remember when he apologized and took accountability? When he said he's now found God and that's his response? I'm just so sorry that it's come to this. Oh, you're sorry that it's come to this. Cool. So you're not sorry that you uh, abuse your, your, your uh, employees. You're not sorry that you treat people like shit. You're sorry that it's come to this. All right, we see you. I really don't know what to say other than... I don't know what to say in order to re get my reputation back. All right, cool, cool. We At least we get the motive. This has gone on way, 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 way too long. You know what, the hate that you're getting because you're a victim? People have gotten away with murder. Basically, said. People have gotten away with murder? <laughs> what are you even talking? What are you even talking about? Holy shit. 
Dude, you got Logan Paul's writers to write her response. What the? She had no idea that this is what life was like on set. If she given... had no idea that when she treats people like shit, they actually get their feelings hurt. Because she, she, you see, she's a sociopath. So she didn't notice that feelings were a real thing. Just the nature of the show is that her employees should love coming to work, no question. DeGeneres saying she wasn't perfect and realized wow. that some leaders were not as sensitive to human beings as they should have been. Some leaders are not as sensitive to human beings. Yeah, that's a you problem, lady. Adding that reading disturbing allegations about the atmosphere on the show was heartbreaking. So when Ellen says she's not of this uh, environment, you don't think that rings true? It's a lie. And this would be- <laughs> It's a lie. You don't think this is true? It's a lie. Come a running theme for Ellen not to take any true accountability for her downfalls. And then she also addressed- Down That's what I'm here. Subscribe for, for downfalls, all right? We, we, we're here for all of them. All the downfalls? We will literally be there at the forefront of the chaos gates. We are here for the downfalls. And my final video will be my downfall. The situation poorly on her show, basically saying that if these things were going on, that she had no idea about it. While those making the act- It's hard for her to understand because you see, she's a lizard person. So is there, she has a really hard time understanding human emotions. Accusations made it sound like she was the ring leader. How was everybody's summer, good? Yeah? Mine was great. <laughs> Being known as <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. The be kind lady is a tricky position oh, to Oh, the reason why she's in trouble is because she was known as the kind lady, but she's just a human. A gay one. Just like all of us. We might not be as gay, but we're still people. Yeah. So let me give you some advice out there. If anybody's thinking of changing their title or giving yourself a nickname, do not go with the be kind lady. And See, that's why I go with the, the fucking piece of shit, petty ass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I've, I've never tried. I've never faked it. See, she's faked it her whole life. She has literally built a brand on it because she felt like she could manipulate people with it. And now the mask comes crashing down. I have never once tried to fucking posture myself as anything. Okay? I am a fucking idiot douchebag. Anime avatar ass piece of shit on the internet. All right? I, I'm not, not going to make believe I'm out here doing anything more than that. You're subscribing for the fucking chaos, all right? This shit's I'm not here to teach you how to tie your shoes and respect women. Somehow gets even more dystopian when you realize that this was the audience she was- <gasps> Oh my God! Look at that audience. Look at that live studio audience. Standing in front of. The show after that ran for two years and it was essentially a corpse of itself. Love that. Forced laughter, Love that. forced kindness. Love that. And it was clear that Ellen was feeling the pressure while crying about the situation she put herself in. Rating Love that. Things were at an all-time low, and old hey. clips began to resurface that further shines a light on the downright douchebaggery that Ellen displayed during her interaction. Mariah Carey says miscarriage happened after Ellen DeGeneres needled her about pregnancy. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. I've seen this. I've seen this. Actions with various guests on her show. Over right, because Mariah Carey, there was like a, a rumor that she was pregnant, and uh, people didn't know if it was true. So Ellen DeGeneres brought out alcohol and said, here, drink with me. And she said, no, I don't want to drink. And she said, oh, you're not drinking with me? Why do you not want to ingest alcohol? Is it because you're pregnant? And she's like, no, I just, I just don't want to drink. And she's like, oh, but why not drink with me? I'll be offended if you don't drink, unless you're pregnant. Then she had to reveal that she was pregnant, and then she miscarried. Uh, honestly, some of the most evil fucking bullshit I've ever seen in my life. And I don't know how people get away with this shit. For the years. And she did, for years. She got away with this. And uh, people still revered her as the nice lady. Only further adding to the cancellation of Ellen and her empire of a brand. And now, guys, a whopping four years after she was thrown away like a wallet condom, Ellen is... Okay. <laughs> ...back with Good a stand-up special of all things. And grandma. All right, so this is this is what I was really interested in. She she did a whole Netflix special. Ooh, that's a bingo. I was holding no punches on this one when it comes to her quest for self pity. It opens with the classic comedian in the green room shot as she seemingly reflects on her career. But this. <laughs> Dude, that only works if your career isn't full of making people miserable and you dodging accountability. This moment of reflection quickly turns bitter as poor Ellen is ironically painted. Oh no! All of the newspaper articles canceling her! No! Oh, queen of mean! Boss from hell! Oh, from hero to villain! Oh, this is so sad. As being hurt by the mean headlines. 
and I knew that we- This is literally so sad. I can't imagine someone actually needing to count take accountability for their actions. Oh my god. Truly some, some true hero backstories. We were in for a doozy as soon as she walked up the stairs and they sh- Oh my god. Oh my god. It's different headlines. Showed various headlines from- oh, ABC puts Ellen in the closet. You see, they hate her because she's gay and not because she's fucking evil. Her cancellation era. And that apparently she was accused of going too far and being- too gay. Oh my god, Ellen's so gay the way she abuses her employees. What? Yes, I'm serious. Being accused of going too far, too gay. Could, could she stop making believe she's a victim? She makes $50 million a year. Oh my god, you are not a victim. Get it out of your- everyone feels the need to be a victim in today's society. Oh, so, uh, what's your name? What do you do? Oh, well, you see, I, uh, I am a victim of these following things. Guys, you're not all victims. And even if you are a victim, you gotta get into the mentality that you're gonna fucking cook. Cook, guys. Oh my god. Stop. Some people are obviously victims. Oh, sure, sure. Some, pe some people definitely are victimized. But you gotta pick yourself up. Don't, don't do this. Don't wallow in victimhood. This is her thing. She, she's, she's too gay. She's too gay. So I'm criticizing her. As if that had absolutely anything to do with why people have a problem with her at this point. And that should have been the moment that we all should have known that she was going to play the victim here. Oh I mean, God. seriously. Is that really what she does in this whole special? Oh. You had four years to reflect, do therapy, ayahuasca in a dirt field with Aaron Rodgers and George Bush, and this is what you come up with? And then they directly address the elephant in the room, her cancellation. All right. Breaking news tonight, is the queen of nice really the, the queen, queen of, of me? me. Did I fucking see that coming? The phony hypocrite liar. I mean, with situ- God, Dude, this is such a bad way to address allegations. Oh, God. Situations like this, it's almost gotten to the point where I truly believe that some people just lack the ability to take any sort of accountability. I think you're completely right. I think Ellen DeGeneres is uh, someone just like the Logan Paul and the KSI and the Mr. Beast crew. She is in her little echo chamber of fucking snot-sucking elites, right? And swirling their champagne in their glasses while they proceed to have a human centipede ditty party. And uh, they are literally going to eat the stuff that comes out of the butthole of the celebrity in front of them, churn it over before feeding it to the person behind them. These people are living in an echo chamber where they are constantly going to prop themselves up as always being correct, as better than the regular humans. And these degenerates are, are literally going to think that people are going to eat that up when they go out there and play the victim card. She even tries to foreshadow her eventual downfall with a quote from one of her older stand-up specials. Years ago, I started ending my show by saying, be kind to one another. Here's the downside. Um, I can never do anything unkind ever now. This toxic workplace angle was the shit that I expected. Now, this is when Ellen comes out and a sea of middle-aged white faces just go insane. Go. I mean, I'm serious. I paused the video, I loaded it in 4K, and I didn't see a drop of melanin in the crowd. <laughs> Jamari, internet sleuth. Or anyone under the age of 40 for that matter. Damn. She starts out with Botox and face filler jokes and parlays that into another joke about parallel parking. Did he just say parallel parking showing a parking lot where there's no parallel parking? Filler jokes and parlays that into another joke about parallel parking. So there's no parallel parking. I think we all care what people think. We can say we don't. We can pretend we don't care what people think, but all it takes is trying to parallel park in front of a crowded outdoor cafe. <laughs> Spot looks big enough. This is her material that she spent for- This is her big comeback? Parallel parking is awkward because people are staring at you, so obviously you care what people think? That is the most lukewarm joke I've ever heard in my life. Holy shit, she should have gone the Amy Schumer route, talked about her vagina or something. What is this? You line it up the way you always do, you pull in, Cut it a little too close, you're scraping the hubcap the entire way along the curb. I'm sorry, but on a personal level, Grandma's parking lot adventures just aren't doing it for me. It had- Bro, 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 dude, Ellen. Oh, I totally- I didn't- Again, I didn't handle this properly at all. I, I completely misunderstood something very obvious. She is a female driver. Now I get- oh, Okay, that was a joke. 
has the same energy as a boomer trying to step into this century and learn to use an iPhone. She goes on and on about how she doesn't know how to use the basic functions of her car like her fucking windshield oh wipers God. and how embarrassing it apparently is when she cannot turn them off. Like even if we just can't figure out how to turn our windshield wipers off, which to me is oh. one of the most embarrassing things is driving a car when it's not raining and the windshield wipers are going. Yeah, Ellen DeGeneres is used to just staring at people meanly and they worship her. She's used to having a uh, person drive her around wherever she goes instead of actually needing to do any sort of labor herself. So for her, figuring out where the windshield wipers are, that is a big task. Normally she has Charles do it. Charles, her butler slash uh, freaking masseuse. And then you're trying to fiddle with it, trying to turn it off. And you don't know how to turn it off because it's always different. Sometimes it's on the end of the lever on the steering wheel. Always different, says Ellen DeGeneres, because she has 12 cars. Yeah, most people don't have that problem that it's always different. Most people only have one car. Sometimes there's a lever. Oh my god, this is the most out of touch thing I've ever seen. Yeah, you diddle with it. Yeah, you diddle with it. You know how to diddle with things, don't you? Within the lever. Ellen, just stop the bullshit. We know that you have absolutely no shame with your conniving ass. I mean, to be fair, she's- To make believe you drive as a woman, I mean as a rich person. Always been a pretty clean comedian when it comes to her stand-up, and she's kind of cut from that same cloth as Jerry Seinfeld. I disagree, she's too gay. Which is really not my type of stand-up. Regardless, this whole thing is just not very enticing so far. Don't get me started on the dashboard lights, too. The dashboard lights are not illuminated all the time, so when they are, it must mean something serious, right? Does she seriously spend, like, a good chunk of her comeback special talking about how she's incompetent when it comes to cars? Are you, are you, what, what is the point of this? Who are you appealing to, Andrew Tate? It, but check engine, that's vague. <laughs> I've checked it, it's there. Oh my god. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I mean, you go away for almost four years, and this is what you come up with? Yeah, bro. With all the crazy oh shit god. that has taken place in the world, and we gotta hear about your inability to understand cars for 20 minutes? Dude, dude there, I... were, there were a lot of topics that she could have covered. I've never used my parking brake. I've never parked my car and thought, I want it more parked than this. <laughs> Oh my, she, she literally does not understand a thing about, like, m how mortals live their lives. Parking brakes are useful on hills, uh, but, but you don't need to worry about that on your fucking terrace. Now after this, she does jump right into the cancellation. I have Charles clean the snow, so I don't actually need to fucking use a parking brake. Which I really think was the whole purpose of the special and her tour in general. Alright, let me see what else I can tell you about that has been going on. Oh yeah, I got kicked out of show business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'm mean. Yeah, yeah, you can't be mean and be in show business. No, they'll kick you out. Oh, did she just expose the the uh, the Hollywood elite? No, she didn't. You know why? Because there are so many mean people in show business. How do you get canceled being mean in show business unless you are very mean? And then she kind of half cries about the fact that when she goes to a restaurant, people are just waiting for her to be a bitch or to do something mean. And how she's beyond sick of this mean queen label. And I will admit some of the dialogue here is pretty funny. I do like this little part about her talking with a therapist about the cancellation. At one point my All therapist right. said, Ellen, where do you get this idea that everyone hates you? And I said, well, um, New York Times, Washington Post. She then talks about the- I, I, I agree, that is funny. There we go, let's go. Peak comedy has been achieved. The ironic send-off phrase that she used to use saying to be kind to one another and that it would have been better if she said- Go fuck yourselves. I personally completely agree with her. I agree. I, I think that ending your videos with go fuck yourself is by far much, much better when it comes to building a healthy audience than be nice to one another virtue signal head ass. I completely agree. Honestly, that, that good take. Good take, Ellen. I'm so, you know what? I will. I will do that, Ellen. Thank you. Thank you. So grandma's really living life on the edge here. I mean, the mask has slipped and she has started to admit her own intolerance for everyday people. And this is when the real deflection starts. Ooh, Basically, we're not even there yet. Basically, she jokes that harmless pranks and games. Yeah, this, I hate this clip so much. Games were the reason behind like, it. Could you imagine if the genders were reversed here? If this was a dude jumping on some woman who's afraid of dolls and just literally getting in her space? Can you imagine reversing the genders of this clip and, and 
and, and it's just surviving online toxic workplace allegations. She also claims that she never even wanted to be the boss and that she wasn't in charge on the set of her shows. Oh, get the frick out of here with that. What are you talking about? She she was cutthroat in the industry. That's how you get somewhere. Which is a way different tune than what she was singing when she did her first show back after the drama. I know that I'm in a position of privilege and power, and I realize that with that comes responsibility, and I take responsibility for what happens at my show. Oh, okay. This is the Ellen DeGeneres show. I am Ellen DeGeneres. My name is there. My name is there. My name is on underwear. I mean, it looks- Did she find an excuse to flex? She found an excuse to flex. Oh my God. But yeah, you can't go up there and say that the Ellen DeGeneres show is my show, I take responsibility, and then say, well, I didn't really do anything, I, I, I just work here. It looked like I was the boss. The show was called Ellen, and everybody was wearing t-shirts that said Ellen, and there were buildings all over the Warner Brothers lot that said Ellen, and... Of the casual flexing. Ah, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, a regular person. But I don't think that meant that I should be in charge. I mean, talk... <laughs> You treated your employees like shit, lady. What the frick are you talking about? Talk about a lazy ass cop out when people Purge the heretic. Oh god, brother, give me the heavy flamer. Have gone on wreck. Slaneshian demons are fucking invading from the other side of the warp, and I don't like this. Good to say that she was the main culprit in creating this environment where bully behavior ran rampant. She also tries to make the point that she got cancelled because she is a woman. <laughs> It's every time. These women aren't. It was his mom said that said that. Whatever. Is with confidence. We we just aren't, and we're too self-conscious, which is why you rarely see a woman playing air guitar. Are they cheering on her for for playing air guitar? Look, Ellen, you didn't get canceled for being a woman. You got canceled for being a fraud. The physical comedy in general here is pretty bad, but hey, she is like seventy years old. She continues here to hammer down the point that she got canceled because she was too far against the grain. Eventually they're gonna- Against the grain? Oh my god, your your content was milk toast trash. They kicked me out a third time for being old, mean old and gay, the triple crown. Honestly, I would argue that she's become so famous because she was unapologetically gay at a time when it was not very common or accepted. And yes, at that time, she did take a huge chance and faced a lot of backlash for doing so, but it obviously made her a pioneer in the entertainment space and really a gay icon forever. She then makes this weird- God, that's so scary to think about. You really think Ellen DeGeneres is gonna be a gay icon forever despite being a completely insufferable bitch? Don't- don't have heroes, man. Don't, do not have heroes that- that you don't know personally. Right? You get- you get your heroes from real life, right? Your dad, I don't know, your fucking uncle. Your delusion that she might be kind of autistic? Uh, someone did suggest oh that I get tested to see if I'm on the spectrum. <laughs> well, I am on the spectrum. <laughs> we all are. It's a spectrum. I think that's honestly, like, kind of bitchy to autistic people. It's like, imagine someone autistic says, I'm autistic, and you say, ah, We're all on the spectrum! It's a spectrum! It's like, who wrote this script for her? Like, this is insane! And then she claims that she has OCD, and she even says that she has ADHD. Oh, she has OCD, and she has ADHD, she's been diagnosed with gay, it's not easy. I don't know, this whole special isn't actually the worst thing I've seen in recent times. That award goes to Joe Rogan's oh, recent steaming pile of shit that he put out <laughs> last month. But much- okay, I have to watch that, what? To like Joe, I think the main problem here is that it has been such a long time since Ellen has lived any sort of normal life. Meaning most of the stuff that she says is just not very relatable to the average person. Bro, she doesn't understand humans because she's so far above them. You even cut her some slack. And her whole dialogue- like For a lizard person, she's doing a pretty good job log around to cancellation is really just a lot of deflection and it's not even clever deflection at that and this speech right here at the end just made me cringe on a whole nother level i'm happy not being a boss or a brand or a billboard just a person just a multifaceted person with just a multifaceted billionaire feelings and emotions and i can be happy and sad and compassionate or frustrated i have ocd and add i'm honest i'm generous i'm sensitive and thoughtful but i'm tough and i'm impatient and i'm demanding i'm direct i'm a strong woman from the king to the ring to the ping to the crown to the crown to the king to the ping to the ring 
the fuck ksi lyrics shit is she spouting right now what did she just did she just literally sit there for like a full minute talking about how she's generous and kind and faithful and nice and strong and autistic and add and strong Playing the I'm just like you card is downright hilarious. Keep in mind, this is coming from a woman who allegedly demanded lower levels of her staff on her show not even make eye contact with her Insane. and frequently treated the people she worked with like fucking peasants. I mean, to me, Ellen's always been on some weird Illuminati shit and something tells me that she spent a lot of time with P. Diddy, if you know Woo! what I'm saying. Happy birthday, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, oh, God. Sean Combs. Or as I call him, Cuddle McSnuggle Stuff. You don't need to know why. This group- oh. <laughs> Right in the ass. Oh. But kids had a dream to dance with Diddy. Today that dream came true. No matter what name you go by, you were always one of my favorite people to have on the show, Diddy. Oh my god, the glazing. The glazing, it doesn't stop. The glazing, the, the, the super gluck gluck 9000. Bro go, would go to Luigi's mansion and instantly uh, murder those ghosts. Holy moly. Thanks to my friend. Oh, she doesn't stop. Diddy, you're always the life of the party. Oh Apparently, I have a history of not knowing which parties I've been invited to at Diddy. Either way, they just give her a standing ovation while she watches on in all her glory. I mean, seriously, it lasts like a fucking minute. You know, it's almost like watching a kid get a participation trophy. Like, yes, we all know you actually sucked. She closes the. <laughs> she got a participation trophy in her own in her own show. Oh my god. Show out by basically saying all of those people who thought that she was mean were basing it off a lie, and that only she knows the truth in her heart, and that she hopes that in the end people will remember her as someone who was loved by the masses. Loved, past tense. And this is where the show really wraps up. They do like 10 different rounds of applause for her in the last five minutes. And overall, she just kind of paints herself as some sort of martyr, which is just hilarious. Overall, the special Disgusting. was fine. It was just really boring. And I thought that her playing the ignorant victim card was just a massive cop out. Was this the worst stand up special I've ever seen? Absolutely not. I mean, I've watched the gringo poppy. Damn. I just didn't really find Man, I've never do stand-up special. I never watched that shit. It's funny at all, but it wasn't exactly like unbearable. And at the end of the day, Ellen's legacy will be that she was a pillar in the gay community, who in my opinion overstayed her welcome and bit off more than she can chew. Drew. But I wanna know what you guys think about Ellen's comeback down below in the comments. It's, it's disgraceful that she's allowed to come back. Like, anything for a couple of dollars. And what's so wild is I feel like all the producers and people behind the marketing and all of this stuff, like, they all get away scot-free with just oodles of money. Like, I, all the flesh puppets, are being puppeteered by somebody. And those puppet masters are the ones that are probably just as mean as all of them, but since they're not known and their face isn't on every billboard, they'll just get away with it. Uh, and ultimately, this is a society that is based on revering people that don't deserve your reverence. And uh, it's cringe, honestly. And I try my best to always be completely upfront with saying you should not love and adore and respect anyone in this industry. It, me included. You don't know who I am. You have a fraction of my life. Exactly what I plan on showing you in my videos is what you see. You have no idea who I am, okay? I could be so much better than the asshole I portray myself as, and I could be so much worse, and you have no idea. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. This was the, uh, the deep dive on Ellen's new stand-up special. Oh my god. Uh, thank you, Jamari, for covering it. I, I do like his coverage on stuff. And remember to go fuck yourselves. Like, subscribe, and this video was streamed live on kick.com slash See you there. Stay weird, fam.